Hello everyone, my name is Lars Jacobson and I'm the founder and CEO of Texel Energy Storage. Uh, my origin is that I'm an entrepreneur within the oil business, which I left 15 years ago to find a solution to replace fossil fuels. Today I will describe for you a disruptive new technology that will potentially reduce CO2 emissions with 800 million tons by 2033, or one gigaton by 2035. One gigaton is about 3% of CO2 emission, and 800 million tons is about the whole aviation industry. But to solve the problem, we need to understand the problem. 75% of all CO2 emissions are produced by oil, coal and gas. And as you probably know, CO2 is the largest driver of global warming. So, you probably heard that we find cheap solar energy and cheap wind energy on the market today. But the problem is that solar energy can just be produced when the sun is shining but we need the solar energy to be distributed when it's dark outside in this room today. Texel Energy Storage, together with US Department of Energy and Savannah River National Laboratory, has developed a new thermochemical battery technology. Thermochemical lithium batteries are electrochemical. We signed last year, after three years of negotiations, an exclusive license agreement on the technology. And just a few months ago, we saw a report from DOE, or Department of Energy, where they were actually appointed our technology as the cheapest battery technology in the world. So, here it is. Low cost is, of course, very important. But maybe more important in the future will be rare earth minerals. This technology does not include any rare earth. It's 100% recyclable, and we do not consume any minerals, which is extremely important. Here you can see the technology in a, in a household. Last year in Silicon Valley, we were appointed a success story beyond lithium batteries, because they saw that there are possibilities to actually move away from fossil fuels. This battery is not supposed to be used for iPhones or laptops. We are targeting the large-scale energy storage market. We are looking at st storing energy for wind farms, solar farms, or trucks, buses, villages, islands, or countries. We are now entering the commercialization phase, an industrialization phase. We have four teams, one in Sweden, one in UK, one in Australia, and one in the United States to achieve our goals, because we need the best teams in the world to make sure that this is happening. In our board of directors, we find the former CEO of Volvo in Asia, and actually also the former chairman of IPCC. It's important for us to make this happen fast, because we are running out of time. We need to replace oil, coal, and gas. For us, it's important today to be here, because the money will help us to move faster, and the awareness around this battery technology is so important, because the time is running out. I left the oil industry 15 years ago to find a solution to replace oil, coal, and gas. We found a solution. Now we need all the help in the world to replace fossil fuels. Or as Greta Thunberg used to say, how could it even be allowed to burn fossil fuels in 2019? So everyone, please help us make sure that we are replacing fossil fuels before it's too late. Thank you, everyone.